Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in something else other than a cube to this um, to the spline here. So one of the things that I've done in my uh, prototyping here is I've actually tried to make this spline something else, more like a platform. So, you know, most people want to use would use this for a platform. So you set everything up here and then it just randomly reverts back to a cube. So I'm not sure what's happening there. And if you know why it's reverting back to a cube, um, please, uh, please let me know. Uh, it pro might have something to do with the timeline, but nevertheless, you probably should be using your own, um, uh, your own items here. So like, for example, if we do this, uh, you can see that the spline moves around and then even then, the cube just still stays there. So anyway, nevertheless, um, let's go ahead and let's uh, add in our own art. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically hop into Blender here. And, um, you know, all I'm going to do is in object mode, I'm going to scale along the z-axis. I'm just going to do that here. Scale along the z-axis and scale along the y-axis. And I believe you can just type in a number, three. Yeah, so we'll make it three, and then we're going to scale along the x-axis, and we're just going to type in three here. And there we go. So all we're going to do here is we're going to export this uh, FBX, and I have a nice spot for all this stuff here. And I'm just going to call this Platform FBX. All right, we're going to go ahead and import, that, export that here, okay? So let's hop back into Unreal for a second, and I'm going to grab that. Uh, file. And so I have this in just basically, I have an export for, for prototyping on my desktop here for easy access use. And I can see that, yeah, that's guess what? We have a platform here and I'm just going to drag it over and we're just going to basically import all. Okay. That's pretty simple stuff here. And now that we have a platform, there we go. Looking pretty good. So the only thing we really need to do here is go to this cube spline here. And instead of a cube, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a static mesh, okay? And then um, for some reason, it, did it add the platform in there? Hmm, that's interesting. Um, but before we even delete everything, um, and if you can take a look at this, the, uh, the event graph got closed. So the only thing we need to do here is drag out, um, hmm. so let's do that again. Let's add a static mesh, the platform here. And before we delete that out, let's go ahead and let's drag the platform out here. And we're just going to substitute the target here instead of the cube. Okay. And I think that's the only reference to the cube there is. Okay. So there we go. We can go delete that cube and let's compile it. And what should happen is you should now have, well, a platform, right? And now the platform does what it's supposed to do, right? And then, all right. So, I mean, this is a huge platform, but you get the idea though, right? So now um, if you were on it, for instance, you could now do that here. And so let's click this guy here. And I'm just going to move him up just a bit because that's kind of what I envisioned here. And there we go. Move it up. There we go. And so now we have a nice platform moving. So that is what you should probably do. Again, usually you don't want to use those. Um, like if we go back into cube spline here, you generally don't want to use these primitives in an actual game. You want to use some custom comment content. And I know it seems uh, seems a little bit counterintuitive, but if let's say your aesthetic does deal with cubes and spheres, it's best to pull them in from somewhere else and use a static mesh. It's just a little bit better. These cubes and spheres are more or less used for prototyping and you don't want to use them in a releasable game. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.